Well, Tom, a 17-year-old accused of killing an off-duty Coweta County deputy was in court this morning. An attorney for Danny Long waived Long's rights to a preliminary hearing on the charges of murder and making terroristic threats. Fox 5's Doug Evans was in court and has new information about the case of a young man accused, accused of killing a member of his own family. We saw 17-year-old Danny Long in court for the very first time since the shooting death of his 25-year-old cousin, an off-duty deputy with the Coweta County Sheriff's Department, that happening back on April 30th. And we learn more tonight about what seems to be at the heart of this family dispute that led to the shooting. Mr. Long, regarding your charge of terroristic threats, in charge of murder. It was a brief hearing. Danny Long charged with making terroristic threats and murder in the death of his 25 year old cousin, Edmund Irvin. Long's attorney waiving the preliminary hearing. It will now be set for trial in Superior Court. This would be an opportunity if you wish to uh, confront the state's evidence for the first time. You could do that through your attorney asking questions. Something new we've learned. The terroristic threat charge stems from allegations that Long threatened to kill the deputy's pregnant fiance, Evelyn Roman. Irwin and Roman were temporarily staying at the house on Snowfall Terrace in Palmetto. Family members had previously said they heard arguing and then shots. But until now, there had been no word on the cause of the dispute. I spoke with Long's attorney about the case. We're extremely early on in this case. There's a lot of investigation still left to do. I um, was able to speak to the GBI agent this morning and, and got a lot of useful information. And I think that right now there's just a lot to be told that it's too early to start telling. Deputy Edmund Irvin was new in the patrol unit of the Coweta County Sheriff's Office, but had worked previously in the jail. He was much loved by his fellow law enforcement officers, and his funeral drew not only a large crowd of police, but also the public as well, who lined the streets of Noonan to show their respect. There were family members at this court hearing. Remember, Irwin and Long were cousins. No one from the family would talk on camera, but one man told me in the hallway that they were simply lost. Lost in grief, but also lost in the whole process of how the case, the death, the arrest affect the family. And this is a bad situation for everybody involved, particularly this family, because everybody is related. And, and it's just a, a bad situation, but we're asking that everybody keep an open mind.